Hey YouTube, what's up? My name's John, and you are watching part 10 of our Black Mesa playthrough. We're on chapter 11 now, Questionable Ethics. And, uh, well, okay, so, get this. Uh, I mean, you know, last part was part 9. And I had actually, you know, I, so right now it is, like, September, what is it? It's the 26th today. And I had actually already gone through and beaten this entire mod and recorded every step of the way like I have been for the past nine videos I've uploaded here. And, well, I just checked, you know, I was, I was, up, I was gonna upload part 10, and I did briefly until I watched it and realized none of my microphone stuff was showing up at all. It was just gone. And I had, like, recorded from that, from this chapter on to the end of the game to the end of uh, Lambda Core with absolutely no voiceover work whatsoever. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, a little frustrating, but that's okay. So, here I am. It's been, like, a couple of weeks since I've beaten the game. But I'm just going to pick up where we left off in the last part I uploaded. So, I mean, at least this time I kind of know what I'm doing, because I did just beat this game. So, it won't be a blind playthrough as much, but... So, there you have it. <laughs> uh, it's really frustrating, but hey, it's okay. So either way, I'm just going to, I mean, so this will be more of a walkthrough than anything. I mean, I'll try to show off, I mean, I remember where some of the cool stuff is, and I'll try to show that off. But, yeah, I mean, there won't be any long periods of me being like, where the fuck am I going, what the fuck am I doing, kind of stuff. You know, I'll have a much better idea of uh, what I'm doing this time around, so. Yeah, and it also sucks because, you know, there were these cool little, like, menu screens for every chapter, except for the last two. For some reason, the last two chapters of this mod did not have special menu screens, but all the other ones did, and because I've beaten the game, they don't show up anymore. QQ. Anyway, okay. So, let's just go ahead and get into it. As I said before, this is questionable ethics. Now, actually, the last video ended, like, up here already, so let's just go ahead and go up here already. So I already did this part in the last video. And there's these dogs. They're not sleeping. They're actually completely awake. Whoops. Alright. Well, we don't have much ammo to begin with, anyway. Because this is still the part where you did not have much ammo because you got captured recently, so... But what you do here is you hop up on this thing somehow, using this box, perhaps. And you just give that little, this little wooden thing injected into there, injected, just kind of wedged in there. And if you could stand on that fucking crate, you just break it. And there you have it. And you can open the door. That guy did not have a good end. There you have it. Now let's go ahead and break that box while we're at it. There we go. I didn't think there was much in there, but might as well check. There's some other boxes around here. I'm pretty sure I broke about 95% of every box in this game upon completion. But that record might not stand anymore. So this is closer to where we were last time, right? You know? Went through here, and then we went through this door. And there's the beginning of the real chapter proper. So this is where we left off, technically. One thing that's really cool, here's our alien grunt for the first time ever. Look at that dude. I think he looks pretty awesome. He's like some crazy looking drain eye from hell almost. And he's gonna sit there and slam himself against the glass, but thankfully he won't get out. This is probably one of the few times you can actually take a look at these things up close, so. I think they look pretty awesome, personally. And there, of course. Oh, actually, this one doesn't have any Hornet gun. He's been stripped of his weapon. But nevertheless, that's what he looks like. Eventually they're going to be running wild around here. So, there's nothing in particular in this room. Uh, there are some switches we could... Uh, I did not do that last time! So there you go, there's a reason to play through this game again, even though you've already beaten it. I just gassed the hell out of that guy. That is pretty ethically questionable. I agree with you, Achievement. So there you have it. I just gassed the fucking alien. I'm a monster. What an asshole I am. Good job, Gordon. Anyway, so we proceed. This is like, yeah. This is a very interesting part of the facility. Phony. 
Did I ever point that out before? Because that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Anyway. So this level definitely has plenty of marine action. I remember that. But... I don't remember this section. Holy crap! I think we're launching snarks into that thing. Trying to get a bullseye. Oh, that was a bullseye. Good god. Are you serious? There's no other way in there. What does this say? Minor Xenos. Minor Zen aliens, I assume. So, okay, they, they, the scientists have set up a... And this is an emergency situation, so you can fire the Tesla gun. Which apparently did not function. That's ridiculous. They're just launching fucking snarks at a target? What assholes in this facility? You can really see how this chapter gets its name. And here's a little uh, drawing of the snarks, as you can see. Contains unusual mixture of chemicals. Appears to be an odd version of this chemical. Highly corrosive. Boys, uh, you know, dissolves gold. Wow. Biological grenade? Why, yes, that's exactly what it does. Due to aggressive nature, pathology of the snark, as they're called, it's logical to use a biological weapon. Can we find a way to weaponize this creature? Snark. An attack pose. That's the snark attack pose. Here's a little sack that they come in. Pouch contains an average of five snarks. I really love that they have these little, like, details here. It's pretty awesome. And, of course, the computers are all messed up. Let's launch a few more snarks before we move on, shall we? There we go. Finally got the achievement. I had to launch all of them, apparently. So if you r run the gun dry... Yeah, look at this little thing. God. Just launching snarks. Ew! So gross. Just splatter all around. That apparently is a sprite. Oh, well, there's a little bit of modeling here. Gross. Alright. So we're being very ethical around here. I don't think there's anything down there. Nothing I can really get to. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Crossbow. Yes, you get most of your weapons back in this, and a new one, which I'll let you guess which one that is. It's the toss cannon. It's the little gun, the experimental gun that you charge up and then, you know, fire. So, okay, so that's our Tesla thing. Let's open up this chamber. There's another alien. Just kind of chilling. Let's electrocute him. And... There you have it. That little device. Don't we feel like outstanding human beings today? Splattered snarks. Kept them in these horrible little cages. Here's a, here's a dissection of a... Uh... Oh, here we go. So. Unusually aggressive species. Seems to be a predatory zinian attacking other creatures within habitat. Spits similar corrosive substance to snarks. It's unusual. It's similar to leopards. Camouflage. Reptilian theropod. Bovines. Bull squid? Yes, the bull squid is what we call them. Some weird combination of all sorts of stuff. Seems very similar to bovine lungs. There's its eyeballs. At least I'm assuming. 
And these kind of little, like, these little, like, you know, dry erase boards are all over this section of the game. So we will see way more of that. You gotta love that. Ew. It's jaws hanging open, that's a little gross. Anyway, moving on. Let's see if we here's the bathroom. I guess it's also kind of a locker room in a sense. I apparently do not have a locker in here, because I was never authorized to be in here. We got foreman, but no freeman. We do have chemicals. What kind of what little device is this? BMS, what does it say? Let's see. Oh, come on. I just wanted to flip you over. Okay, what do we got here? BMS, you know. Looks like it's like cleaning, cleaning fluid, basically, but I mean, hey. There's not much in this here bathroom. There's definitely some grossness all over the place. Somebody got shot up in here. It would appear. Alright, and then there's the women's bathroom completely locked. And there's a security guard. What's up? Hey. Hey. Hey, buddy. What's up? It ain't no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding out somewhere in the labs. Maybe with the both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out of here. Yeah, we might live longer if we work together. This is a pretty interesting little office area. I liked it. And I'm wondering what all these names mean. Because there are quite a few of them. My guess would be that they have something to do with, uh... You know, some of the developers here. Excuse me. Let me get out of your way, Doc. Anyway. He's, he's, he is not... He does not have much ammo for us to take. So we have a little bit of, of Magnum and a little bit of Glock. And we have this crossbow. Very delightful. So, that's what we got so far. Now, apparently there's like... Well, I'll show it to you when we get there, but... uh, There's a scientist here. Or at least... Well, what's rema what remains of the scientist that, uh, you know, evidently has, um, like a bit of a pizza obsession. And I don't know, I'm going to try to look into that once I get to that part, because last time I played through this, I had no idea about it. So maybe I can try to unearth some sort of weird hidden secrets that this game is keeping within it, but we will see. So, loading times, also, if you haven't noticed, I mean, I don't know, a lot of my loading times are pretty long, and I've heard other people who have way better computers than mine also have are having load, loading issues, so, you know, could just be, uh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, shit. Uh, let's redo that. <laughs> Take two. Uh, yeah. Let's see. That guy got in my way! Man, I was trying to snipe that guy, but, you know... Okay, here. You wanna go first? You go ahead and go first. I think we're good at the moment. Armor. Alright. Oh, what's that stench? It's probably you. Alright, so. Oh. Medical kit. Oh, yeah. Certainly a welcome addition. I never noticed that before. Any idea of how many of our crew have died? For some reason you can't hit that switch, but that's okay. More shotgun ammo. Ooh! All sorts of goodies. 
All right, what do we got on our hands now? We should probably be doing something. All right, so we got a bunch of a uh, bunch of shotgun ammo and some grenades. That's always good. So, and we got this now. I'll stick to my shotgun for the moment. There's not much in there except for a dead uh dead scientist. Very dead scientist. We got more crossbow ammo. And more of that. Earth to Gordon. Reload, Dr. Freeman. There we go. Alright, now we're doing pretty good in terms of ammo. Oh, that was awkward. Yes, well get out of my way. Move. Thank you. Yes, get behind me. Alright, still with me? Well, it can't get any worse than this. Or can it? Oh, it can. So this... Oh, check that out. They've actually been, uh... Studying some of this stuff. Well, if we go down here... I'll show you. Whoa, man! Can you handle that? Where are you at, buddy? You still with me? Huh, sorry, man. Come on. There you go. Okay. Now you're in here ready to help. Okay, so... Yeah, get in here. Yeah, come in here. No, 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 no. Come on in. Trust me, here, you're let me get out of your way. Don't go outside. Actually, that was probably a mistake. Don't need to do that just yet. Here, stay in here. All right, I'll hold down this spot. So, there's going to be some aliens popping up here in just a second. There they are. Okay. Oof. No, no. Oof. Get out of the way. Watch your head, Doc. Well, I was going to take them out through Tesla coil, but I suppose it's too late for that. You got something else to shoot? Go for it. Good job. Alright, so check this out. Well, there's our little uh, hound eye dogs. And the fish things. And there's the dope fish! Unknown species. If you know what the dope fish is, I believe it's a reference to Commander Keen from uh, the id software series, which I do not remember. Well, I guess it's called Commander Keen, but, you know, that was from quite a long time ago. But it's just awesome that they even include it here. That's just amazing. And here is a video. Video. It's more of x-rays and, you know, some pictures of our little Vortigaunt friends. So, you know. It's pretty interesting stuff here. There's its giant eyeball. Yes. Cycloptic, indeed. They have clearly been studying these things for quite a long time. It doesn't appear like there's anything in here. Actually, there's something in there. There's a dead body of some kind. There's all sorts of dead bodies in these things, and just nastiness in general. Anyway, let's proceed. Coming with? Where'd he go? There you are. Roger that. Let's run like hell. Friggin' freak. Excellent. Now then. This section took me a little bit to figure out, but I think there are some little goodies you can get from up here. What is that? You lose your captain or something? Alright. So, if you look down here... Well, you can't really see it from down here, but it's a good idea to activate this thing. No hard feelings, right? And we have now released these things. And I 
have done a grand job of taking out all these marines. Good job. Now we have to go down there and kill them. Still with me? Alright. So it's a good idea to go up there first, that way you can just, you know, kind of take care of that room. There's not really anything up there, so let's proceed. There's a little bit of ammo around here from our recently deceased marine buddies. something. And look at this piece of nastiness. Well, I'll be damned. I think we just found our scientists. I believe hmm. so. Doesn't look like the front door is an option. I'll tell you what. I'll stick around here and keep an eye on them if you want to go find a way to bust them out of there. Don't get too lost, huh? Looks like they were trying to operate on them. Not much luck. Whoa! Thought I heard something. Uh, oh. Alright. It's all coming back to me. It really has been a little bit since I played this game last, guys. I mean, <laughs> I beat the game and thought everything was said and done, and I would just upload things as we go, but... Unfortunately, that's not how it worked. I mean, what would these videos be without my sexy voice? I mean, obviously. I mean, clearly. But nevertheless. Our security guard buddy is going to hang tight, and we're going to find a way inside that little room of horrible mechanical death. another one running around there. Good job, bull squid. You just got annihilated. I know we're very close to that experimental weapon, so I want to find it. Ah. Alright. We'll go back here in just a second. I know it's around here somewhere, so... Back here? What is this? Some kind of weapon? That's our weapon. And look at that. Just completely va vaporized. Vaporized. Anyway. So. This thing is really entertaining.
Anyway, so, there's our awesome music. So, yeah. <laughs> For one thing, there's this guy. And then... See what we got on this side. This guy. <laughs> it's awesome. To Cambridge. Apparently he's drinking a bunch of energy drinks. What do we got here? Linux Cola. Very awesome. Open sauce. That's badass. He was also apparently working on a model airplane. But I believe it is this man, perhaps. I don't know, maybe not. It's, maybe it's not this guy, but... <laughs> one of these guys, uh... One of these guys has the pizza obsession. <laughs> According to these calculations, any potential geometric... Very interesting. Anyway. So, we got our super weapon. There's a broken television. Oh, there we go. Dr. Seahorn, your pizza is ready from the collection from the staff canteen. System trouble in other areas of facility have now been resolved. Oh, man. This thing keeps changing. Please report to the administrator first thing today. It's ready for collection in cryogenics. It's pretty awesome. No update in 36 hours. I wonder why. It's very fascinating stuff. This is page one of three pages. Only there's a way to keep flipping different pages, but we'll have to come back and check that out. In the meantime, if you haven't noticed, I hit one of those switches. We're activating all of these lasers, you see. As such. There's a third laser room, I believe, back here. No, that's where we came from. So. But, nevertheless, we do need to go to this room. Auxiliary 1. We already did Auxiliary 2. And then... That's where we're eventually going to go, but we don't need to go there just yet. Here's Auxiliary 4. Let's get that fired up. And then Auxiliary 3, which I believe is back here. Auxiliary 3. And all of our lasers are good to go. Wait, let's see. Here's page 3 of 3. Yep, there's the pizza. I gotta find that guy's office. Actually, I believe it's right here. Oh, that's Dr. Welsh. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. Anyway. Sort of little knickknacks as you have in his computer. He's very messy, it appears. And we got a medkit over here. Oh, we got that. And we got a VCR with tapes. Do not record over. Anyway. I like all these little, like, you know, things to check out. It's pretty cool. So now we've got all the uh, lasers going, which means that we can launch this bad boy. Now, as you can see, first thing you want to do is ensure that the laser does not activate. So you unplug that thing, because there's this little shield here that's going to, you know, block the laser that we're about to fire. So you want to unplug that thing, and then all these things are good to go, and we launch. Now this is pretty cool. Check that out. That is one massive hole. Good God. That did some damage. Most certainly. And believe it or not, it's safe to crawl through. So there you go. Yeah, so we just blew a hole through the, the wall, and now we're down here. And yes, apparently... So yeah, so apparently there's some thing about... Uh, there's some secret you can find, and maybe... I don't know if it's in this chapter, but it's somewhere. But, like, apparently Dr. Horner, or Dr. Horn, who's obsessed with pizza, 
There's apparently some section where you can find like all this crap written on the wall that says the pizza is a lie and all that good stuff. And I'll see if I can track down where exactly that is. I don't know if it's in this chapter, I have to admit. But I'm not even sure where it is, to be completely honest. But here's our other scientists. A fellow scientist. Oh, thank God. Get us out of here before those military drones figure out where we're hiding. We all have retinal scanner access. If you escort us to the lobby, we can finally get out of this damn lab. Yes, but you'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. That fool Peter switched it on. But I'm afraid he never made it back. <laughs> yeah, let's go comfort. Well, that's incredibly awkward. It's kind of like, I should I touch her to comfort her? I, I almost... And then everything just gets awkwardly silent. Yeah. Here's a diagram of a heart. This is a human heart, I believe. And then, then we have an alien heart, perhaps? Be careful with that surgical machine. Those whirling blades can dismember and disembowel you like a... Oh, God. Peters. Uh... Duck your head and advance with deliberate movements. Indeed. Yes. The hearts will sell it other by the way. additional vertical. Yes, 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 yes. It's very fascinating. I'm wondering which character or which species Peters, it's talking about. He. I, I couldn't. He couldn't. There, there. Oh, You've already words. seen enough horrors for one lifetime. Oh, brain. This will all be over soon enough. All these brains and hearts and whatnot. Good deal. Ooh, more armor. All right, let me go shut down that machine. One hundred percent. All right, so that's our opening. There we go. And it's off. Nice work, Doc. Yes! Fantastic. All right, folks, let's get the hell out of here. Damn, that was a close shave. Gross. Wait up, folks. Is anyone else getting hungry? <laughs> After seeing all those disemboweled things? I mean, yeah, why not? Now we're back towards the lobby again. Wait! Wait! What? What, what is it? Anyone else think this was a bit too easy? Something's not right. Gordon, you don't mind taking a look, do you? We'll stay here for a moment. I'll cover them. Go for it. Actually, I should point out that last time this guy didn't survive. And so it's kind of cool seeing him interact with all these guys again. Anyway, get back. Now we got a marine battle to deal with. I think we're clear. 
definitely going to make use of those med kits. Welcome back, folks. Look what you did! Holy shit, I, that. I can't believe what you did! My god, it's hell out there. The facility must be under complete military control. You'll have to sneak and fight your way from one end to the other. I don't expect you'll meet many of our peers along the way. If you somehow survive long enough to make it across the base, you'll find the labs where the rest of the science team has taken shelter. I couldn't dare risk venturing out there, but I can inform those of us who remain in the Lambda Complex that you are coming. Now, don't go running pell-mell into this bloody war zone. Even with that suit, the odds are stacked against you. If you simply stay out of sight and listen to me, you may just live to see the Lambda Labs. Well, partner, afraid this is where we part ways. I'm gonna hang back a bit and help out these two. You take care of yourself out there, huh? These two? Like, but not her? Or which one are you singling out here? I mean, you said two. So, alright. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go back and get some armor and whatnot. But that's pretty much the end of the chapter. I mean, pretty short and sweet, but nevertheless. And charging up, and there we go. There we go. We are ready to rock. Alright, folks. I'll see y'all later. I... I just slow you down. Okay. You're a braver man than I, Doctor. Good luck, and Godspeed. Yep, yep. Thanks for all your help, Doc. You're one hell of a guy. I won't ever forget what you've done for me. For us. Be careful up ahead. You're a braver man than I, Doctor. Good luck. I come with you, but and Godspeed. I want to make sure these two get out safe. It's the least I could do. You keep saying these two. I mean, like, are you just talking about them? Like, what about this guy? I guess he's the one st staying here to help me actually get through. Gordon, maybe if you... <gasps> Yikes. So, yeah, that guy got sniped, which is not pleasant. Let's see if we can't catch one of these guys. That's a little ridiculous, but... Gordon! sniper up here.
lacking in the health department, but there's plenty of soda. I'm just gonna drink all these sodas. So why the hell not? I'm just gonna run the machine dry. Exciting gameplay. I thought it was done, but apparently not. Yeah, just keep get me soda. I can use it. Because, you know, this is realistic. Because, I mean, if you drink this many sodas, it's really good for your health. Especially back-to-back -back like this. I mean, that's the surefire way to just completely rejuvenate yourself. If you're, like, dying, you know, if you have been severely injured by gunfire, all you have to do is drink 15 Mountain Dews in a row and you're set. I really appreciate this game's realism in that little area. So. Alright, so we're doing good now as far as health and armor. And so this is really the end of the chapter right up here. Once I hit that switch, that's pretty much the end of it, as you will see. Well, pretty much. Hey. Well, anyway, the game crashed again, but that's basically the end of the chapter. Uh, so, yeah, next chapter is... let's find out. Our next chapter is Surface Tension. Oh man, that's a fun one. That's the one where you actually have to navigate that room full of trip mines, if you remember that. Um, and actually, that took me a while to figure out. Um, I actually had to re-record that video when I initially made it, but of course there was no microphone there either. But nevertheless, when we get to that point, uh, I know a way around it after watching some videos on it and just reading some other information on it. So. You know, you can actually learn something from these videos. You can see how to navigate that section, or at least one way to do it. So, anyway, so that was uh, that was part ten, chapter eleven, and next time we will be on the surface, trotting along and fighting helicopters and all that good stuff. So, anyway, thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you for part eleven, where we head to the surface. All right, see you later.